What is up geeks? So today I have an awesome review for you guys. This product recently came out within the last week or so and I saw it at Toys R Us so I had to pick it up. I'm a huge fan of, of the uh, DL44. This is Han's gun and I'm planning to repaint this, modify it so that way it looks just like the one we see in the movie. Obviously these colors are not accurate to the movie but as far as the sculpt of the weapon most of it is accurate i'll tell you guys that things are that aren't accurate but it looks like a lot of fun and i'll show you guys how it looks like in my hand to see if it would be good for you or it might be a little bit too big for the kids out there i think it might be a little bit too big but for adults this might actually be in scale with you guys so anyway let's finally unbox this thing and take a look at this product first actually let's take a look at the box and here we have a nice image of Han Solo. This is the older version. This is from The Force Awakens. As you can see from the logo there. So this apparently goes 65 feet. So that's really far. That's pretty cool. So we'll test that out and we'll show you guys how it works. This is a Nerf product. And so it comes with four Nerf bullets. And there's actually a scope on this, which is pretty cool. So it looks, it, as far as sculpt, it looks mostly accurate to it, but we'll, we'll get into those details, like I said. You can pause it here if you'd like to read the description. So now let's unbox this thing and get into all the details. <laughs> Alright, so we got it out of the packaging and it looks really cool. I'm an adult, so you can see here that it's more in scale with an adult hand. I can't picture Han's blaster to be any bigger than this, which works out and is actually the reason why I bought this. So I, that way I can paint it one day and make it look more accurate and you know, do some dry brushing, make it look a lot more like Han's blaster. But I do like how there's a sculpt here, a uh, scope here, I should say. It's hard to see it. Let me see if I can try to, there we go. You can kind of see it there. Alright, so that's a scope. Now I'll be showing you guys the range for this thing. Uh, I do like, like the only thing here, I don't really know what this button does. So if anyone knows what the button does, please let me know because it's kind of bothering me. They don't have that in the instructions manual. Uh, anyway, this is how it works. So you pull it back. And then here in this chamber, you load the Nerf bullets. So they've changed the Nerf bullets since I've, I was a kid. Before they used to have the ones with the suction cup at the end. So that way it can stick to mirrors and stuff. Which I kind of miss but I guess these look a little bit cooler. So anyway you can load all four of the bullets here. Which is pretty nice. It's three and one more. Four. And lastly you just close it shut. And now it's ready to fire, which is really cool. And so I will show you guys the range right now. As far as sculpt work, let me just finish up on this. Now the, the other side of this weapon has all the like caution and attention stuff. It's a little bit uh, gimmicky or it, it makes it look a, little, a lot more like a toy. Of course, there's like holes here for the screws. So it, I mean, ultimately we're going to have to do a lot of work on this to make it look authentic, but... I think it'll turn out pretty nice. I do like the little sculpt work here at the end of the gun. It looks pretty cool. And once I touch it up with some silver, I think it'll be looking nice. But uh, uh, this definitely has some potential. There's a Star Wars logo here. So as far as the toy, it looks really cool. I like that a lot. And they actually have raised blaster as well, like I mentioned. So I'm not sure if I should pick it up. Leave a comment below if you would like me to review that one as well. I was kind of iffy on it, but this is the DL44. I use this all the time in Battlefront, so I'm a huge fan of this gun. So anyway, let's show you guys the range. All right, so I got my Stormtrooper pillow set up there. Don't mind the mess, guys. Got my headphones for Battlefront. My room's a bit messy, but anyway, you might actually get a better view of the scope here. There you go. Okay, this is about 10 feet, I'd like to say. So let's see how powerful this blaster is. Okay, that, that was pretty good. So now I'm about 15 feet. 
All right, so that last shot at the end was about 45 feet. So I would imagine at 65 feet, which it's supposed to uh, reach, it would lose a lot of velocity. You can already tell that the bullet was kind of curving at the end. So it, you know, it was still pretty fast. So I'll give it that as far, you know, compared to the Maverick, which I have, a lot of people have that handgun for Nerf. It definitely is a lot stronger and faster, which I'm very impressed with this blaster. And I actually would recommend it for you guys. It's definitely cool if you're into Battlefront or if you're just a fan of Han's DL44. Um, as far as the authenticity of it, the scope is supposed to be out on the side. It's not supposed to be right at the top, but this makes more sense. But of course, that's not authentic to the movie. But that's alright. I still think it looks really cool. So I do recommend this for you guys. I hope you guys like this review. And until next time, embrace, express, and enjoy yourself. May the force be with you always, my young Padawan.